the Milwaukee Bucks currently own the best record in the NBA. The addition of Mike Budenholzer as head coach drew out their potential and pulled them into the conference's elite. Giannis Antetokounmpo is an MVP frontrunner and balled out so much this year he even grabbed the attention of Barack Obama. This might be the scariest Bucks team since guys named Al Cinder and Robertson brought them a championship. For historical perspective, Mike Bibby, Peja Stojakovic, Meta World Peace, and Brad Miller headlined that team. For the arithmetically declined, it's been 13 years of ineptitude since. If they continue developing and adding the right pieces, the future shines brightly in California's capital. Why the Bucks do it? Von Maker wants out of Milwaukee for a destination where he'll get more playing time. His role dwindled to 11.7 minutes per game, down from 16.7 last season, that's the wrong trend for someone considered a unicorn not even two years ago. Perhaps Russell Westbrook donking Maker into an alternate dimension is the reason for the fall-off. Regardless, he's playing behind guys like Ersan Ilyasova and DJ. Wilson. If Maker's not part of their future, Milwaukee should grant his wishes. Grabbing a second-round pick in Justin Jackson, a former ACC Player of the Year and someone who could be a solid backup forward, along with a second-rounder wouldn't be a bad haul. Why the Kings do it? For Sacramento to make leaps in improvement, these are the types of swings they need to take. Jackson is a line-drive single while Maker has the upside of being a bases clearing double in the gap. Next, around the NBA in 15 trades 2019, Day 10, Raptors and Thunder the Kings can add Maker to the ring of young players they're building a core around, assuming Maker's actually 21. If they give him the playing time he wants and he cashes in on his towering potential, Sacramento would take a massive step in becoming a legitimate team again. After 13 seasons in the wilderness, the Kings are finding their way cost of a rotation forward and a second rounder would be well worth a season and a half of Maker to find out if he's a unicorn or just a horse with a fake horn tied to its head.